I've got this amazing T-bone steak and I'm going to transform it into a black pepper steak. Look at our beautiful T-bone, isn't she pretty? She's a black Angus, around a kilogram. This thing is pure awesomeness. And we're gonna grill it. Well, I'm gonna grill it, and you're gonna watch me grill it. But I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. So let's fire up the grill. My first task is to get a good amount of flavor on this steak. And I'm doing that by building up a beautiful crust. Let the fat render down and let the meat brown. Rotating the steak every now and then, pushing down the meat onto the grill grate, putting that extra effort in to get the perfect crust. I'm making sure that I'm maximizing the amount of contact that my steak has with this cast iron grill grate. Now, it's time to move on to the next phase of this steak. I get it, I get it. You're so confused right now, but <laughs> don't just think. we're only halfway into the recipe. I get it, you guys are confused as well, just as much as Ava is. This steak is not done yet. We just grilled it on the outside. No, we didn't put any seasoning on it. We don't need to. No, it's not, it's, get away from me. The steak is not done. This is not it. This is not the end of the video. Stop it now, come on, let me finish. Let me do my job. You do yours, go guard something. What I'm trying to say is, we're just halfway done. Now it's time to make this steak a black pepper steak. Black peppers are fantastic. They carry so much flavor and they are like, like a boost to your steak. I can't talk about it a lot, but what we really want to do is get these flavors on this steak and I got a really fantastic plan. Let me show you. We're gonna make a rub out of some black pepper, but it's not just black pepper. We're also gonna add Szechuan pepper and this freshens the whole thing up. I got some dried mushrooms for that umami flavor, some piment for deep earthy flavors, some juniper berries, and to make everything creamy, we got some roasted sesame seeds. Now we're gonna grind the whole thing up until we got a beautiful, good looking rub. To make sure that I get the maximum amount of flavor out of these ingredients, I'm going to toast them in a pan over a high heat. This is going to make our rub look extra black, which is so cool, but better yet, it makes it taste even more awesome. Now I'll put this on the plate, add some salt to it, put some olive oil on our steak and dip it into the herbs. And look at that beautiful crust. This is perfect. It's totally weird, I get it. But I grilled the steak first to get some flavor on it. Just flavor under that crust and that flavor is so important because it really belongs to the pepper flavor and the roasted ingredients that we just made. But now we still have to cook it. So I'm going to take my beautiful steak. I'm gonna stick my thermometer in, in the center and just to make sure that I'm getting that core temperature right. And then I'm going to put it over indirect heat on the barbecue and let it smoke. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I'm a bit scared to be honest. That blepper thing, 
Well, it's, it's either going to be super, super tasty or super tasty and super hot. Man, th this steak looks so... Oh. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to straight away... Oh, knife and fork, right? <laughs> it's not that spicy. It's not that like crazy hot punch in the face. It's not, but it's definitely peppery. I'm okay. I'm not hurt. I'm still here. Ooh, why was this so, so spicy? Oh, it comes. Hmm. If I'm dreaming of steaks, I'm dreaming of a steak like this. I love that crust. It's so important to me. Of course, I want juiciness. I want tenderness in the steak. I want it to have flavor, but I also want a crust. I want like if you chew on something that you're experiencing something. It's not like chewing like into jelly, like old people's steaks. I want real man steaks, like hard working honest steaks. That's what this is, because we got the crust on the outside that makes it so good. A wakyu is a beautiful steak, but a black Angus is more... It's rough. I love that. I love that. People always think that the more expensive a steak is, the better it is. That's not always the case. It's about the feeling that you want to give to people when you eat a steak. Sometimes it's subtle, sometimes that rustic flavor, and sometimes you're just in a different kind of mood. Now I'm in a rustic mood. Hang on, hang on. Like, I want to try it with mayonnaise. Yeah, like, don't judge me, don't judge me. I know, I know, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I got a new mayonnaise and I think it's awesome, but I need to test it on the steak. I apologize to everyone that loves steaks. Oh, it's a bad idea. Really? The steak was perfect as it was. No. Mayonnaise is freaking amazing. It is. Mm. It's one of the best mayonnaises I ever had. Mm. You're also the mayonnaise master. No. You gotta admit that. I am. You want uh, the mayonnaise? I love the mayonnaise. With a little bit of garlic and a little bit of bread. But don't put it on the steak. It's just beautiful. This is the best mayonnaise I've ever had. It's good, right? You don't almost don't need garlic. No. How did this video get from steak video to mayonnaise? Video? Yeah, I don't know. It's getting out of hand. All right, no mayonnaise on the steak. Maybe some french fries on the side. You can put your mayonnaise on there, but not on the steak. Keep it real, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, you want you want a little piece? Dow, dude. That dog. It's just like I think Morrison broke it. <laughs>